Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to explore some essential HTML attributes that you can use to enhance the functionality and usability of your web forms and media elements. We shall practice examples for each attribute to help you understand how to use them effectively. So, let's get started. The accept attribute is used in the input element to specify the types of files that the user can select in a file input field. It helps filter the file selection to match the specified file types. Specify the file extension in the accept attribute value. Add a file extension with a dot. When selecting a file, all PDF files will be displayed. Here let me tell you one thing. If you want to allow more files then you can give extension to more files with comma. Now you can see both PDF and MS Word files. If you want to allow only certain images files, add the extension of those files. Now only image files will be displayed. If you want the user to be able to select any image file, give the value as like. Now you can see all the images files. The autofocus attribute is used with form elements such as input and text area to automatically focus on the input field when the page is loaded. The autofocus attribute is a Boolean attribute. No value is required with this, basically its value is right. Let me refresh the page dot as you see. Email input field receives immediate focus when the page is loaded. This way you can apply autofocus on the text area field as well. Now we talk about another amazing attribute input mode. The input mode attribute is used to specify the type of keyboard that should be displayed on mobile devices when the input field is in focus. Input mode has different values like text, decimal, numeric, tell, search, email, and URL. You can use any value according to your input field data. Now we check in phone device how it works. Now we move on to another attributes, which is multiple. Multiple attribute allows the user to select more than one file. User can add multiple files by holding down the control key on Windows or CMD key on Mac when he clicks on the file. The pattern attribute is used to define a regular expression. Pattern that an input field's value must match. This input field will only accept alphabetical characters. If a user enters a non-alphabetical character, the form submission will be prevented. This input field will only accept numeric characters. Password input field will only accept more than 8 characters. An error comes if characters are less than 8. This pattern validates the mail input field. In the near future you will see a complete course on regular expressions on our channel. The download attribute is used in anchor elements to specify that the linked resource should be downloaded when clicked instead of navigating to the specific resource. Let's check in the browser how it works. If you add a value to the download attribute, the value will be the name of the downloaded file. Let's check in the browser how it works. You can see the downloaded file name has changed. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more web development tutorials. Thanks for watching.